In January 2009, BNP TV gave you media schizophrenia, showing the depths to which newspapers and TV can sink. The hysteria of their reporting of the British National Party bordered on a form of madness. And now, with the appearance of BNP Chairman Nick Griffin on BBC's Question Time, the true extent of the media's disease is apparent. This was not a TV studio, it was an amphitheatre. A hand-picked audience of so-called British people resembled a baying mob. Welcome to Question Time. With an average age of about 25 and showing no pretense of advanced reasoning, this principled intelligentsia betrayed themselves. They fell into their own trap. Their countenance was tribal and this was mob justice. And if you look at the reaction that there's been out Nick there, Griffin was brought on to be crucified and the crowd took the bait. They demanded blood and think that they have succeeded. These people are not philosophers. What vast experience of life can they draw on? None. They have no vision of a country in moral decline. Question time is a showpiece. It makes people think they have a voice when it is obvious they do not. This is the man who should be imprisoned. His cronies have brought Britain to its knees, but Straw knows that a young audience is easily manipulated. He played them like a circus performer. Jack Straw, Justice Minister and a former Communist. As Foreign Secretary, he toured the world apologising for the British Empire in a false display of fawning appeasement. True to form, the mentally unbalanced media gloat on their crusade to trash the British National Party. The highly principled son wheeled out Russell Brand to teach us morals. This foul-mouthed lout makes hoax calls to elderly people and abuses their families. What a fine role model for young people. But then, this is the son. Predictably, the twisted papers said it was a defeat for Mr Griffin. But they would, wouldn't they? A glance at reader comments show a different story. The treatment of an elected MEP and this blatant insult to democracy was anything but a defeat. Britain is waking up. <laughs>